Hello everyone, it's me Dr. Zainab and I hope you are having a great day. Today I am here with our new topic that is the inferior mesenteric artery. In our previous lecture we talked about the, uh, the branches of abdominal aorta, salic trunk and superior mesenteric artery and today we are here with inferior mesenteric artery. In this lecture we talk about the origin of inferior mesenteric artery, its course, branches and determination of inferior mesenteric artery so let's start our topic here you can see that this is the transverse colon this is the left colic flexure then the descending colon sigmoid colon the rectum and the ns okay if we talk about the origin of inferior mesenteric artery then it arises from anterior abdominal aorta okay anterior side of the abdominal aorta at the level of L3 as you know that the salic trunk arises at the T12 thoracic vertebra superior mesenteric artery arises at the L1 vertebra while the inferior mesenteric artery arises at the level of L3 and 3 to 4 centimeter above the bifurcation of abdominal aorta as you already know that this abdominal aorta divides into right and left common iliac arteries so above to three above three to four centimeter to this bifurcation there is the origin of, of there is origin of inferior mesenteric artery at the level at the level of l3 then this mesenteric artery it descends behind the third part of the duodenum and gives its first branch that is the left colic artery okay so this left colic artery then divides into ascending and descending branch and the ascending branch of this left colic artery anastomose with the left branch of the middle colic artery which is in turn a branch of superior mesenteric artery okay so at this branch anastomose with the branch of superior mesenteric artery while the descending branch of this left colic artery it supplies the descending colon the second branches which gives inferior mesenteric artery are the sigmoidal artery arteries which are 2 to 3 in number and they supply the sigmoid colon okay if we talk about the third branch of superior rectal artery then it supplies the um, superior rectal artery then it supplies the rectum and upper half of the anus so there are three branches of superior inferior mesenteric artery that is the left colic artery sigmoidal arteries which are again two to three in number and superior rectal artery now these sigmoidal arteries one of the sigmoidal uh, sigmoidal artery anastomose with the colic branch of the superior rectal artery okay so in between these two arteries the branches of between these two arteries there occur anastomosis here okay the branch of uh, the colic branch of superior rectal artery and the one of the branch of sigmoidal artery if we talk about the overall uh, supply of this inferior mesenteric artery then this inferior mesenteric artery supplies the distal one third of the colon descending colon sigmoid colon rectum and the upper half of the anus so in this way it supplies the hind gut uh, uh, which is embryologically the uh, the gut that is embryologically derived from the hind gut okay so it is one of the branch of abdominal aorta and it arises entirely from the abdominal aorta if you have any question uh, you can ask me i hope you guys get it well thank you so much